Alrighty, so I'm recording on my phone, so it's dark. Um, I've literally turned the brightness of my tablet all the way up to act as a light, and it's still dark as hell. Um, but it is 6.26 a.m., and I just finished working on the time stopper for this very moment. Um, I wrote 3,033 words there, which means that I've also met my writing goal for the day. Um, my knuckles and my wrist are killing me. I have the gloves on at the moment, and I've foregone the brace. I've had that on most of the morning, so I've just kind of been alternating. Um, but at this point, I'm going to take a break from writing, I'm going to put my brace back on, and I'm going to work on editing for Man of Darkness instead. Um, I'm going to edit at least two chapters, and I would like to get that done this morning, um, so that way it's out of the way in case my mom and I watch TV shows or movies uh, later on in the day. So, I'm going to do that, um, and then I'll see you guys at some point with an update on that. <laughs> Hey guys, it's a little before 5am on the 17th, um, but I'm just going to very quickly discuss the Man of Darkness stuff that I did yesterday. Um, I edited three chapters, two, three, and four, which was 5,400 words, um, sorry, and I've been taking notes on those, which I show more in depth in the Man of Darkness editing series, but for right now, um, everything's color-coded based on who the notes is about. Yeah, who the notes is about. <laughs> um, but it, it's been fun. <laughs> and then a little bit here, too. Um, writing pulls my hand. Not surprising, but it's how I work best. I like taking my notes on paper and have a hard copy whenever possible. Um, but at this point, I've been awake for maybe a little over an hour. Um, I didn't go to sleep until sometime after 9 p.m. That was not like a conscious decision I made. I just was not tired until that point. Um, and then I had planned on only taking a short nap, but every time that I woke up to one of my alarms, which was set for about every half hour to an hour, uh, depending, my eyes were still killing me and I didn't really want to try and make it through the morning um, with my eyes killing me. So. I just kept going back to sleep until I finally woke up one time and my eyes didn't hurt. <laughs> that was how I made my decisions. But that means that I'm definitely behind uh, where I should be at this point in the morning. That's okay. Um, my wrist is killing me. I didn't have my brace on when I was sleeping because I assumed that half an hour would be okay, but it wasn't. Um, so my wrist hurts, my knuckles are very tensed up and sore, um, so at the moment I'm just going to go make coffee and um, then turn on my tablet and slowly start typing on the time stopper and see if any progress can be made. I don't know how slow I'll be today, I don't know how long it will take me to meet the 2.9 thousand word goal, but uh, we will see and then I will update you guys at some point um, in day 17's section of the video. Whether that be in this video or another video, I won't know until I edit it, but I'll see you in day 17. Hey guys, it is 5.16 uh, p.m. on the 17th. Um, things have been very, very slow and that's definitely putting it gently. Um, at the moment, I am making one of my Camp Nano videos public, uh, and then I'm gonna take a nap, but uh, things have been super slow at this point. Um, I've spent most of the day wearing my gloves and my brace. I'm just giving this hand a break from all of the compression <laughs> at the moment, um, but my knuckles are sore and they feel exhausted, and I know this sounds weird because they're knuckles, but they feel exhausted. And my wrist is just sore as hell too. Um, I also apologize, you can most likely hear the tractor outside. My grandpa is trying to fix the ruts in the uh, lane from all of the rain and where my mom's car got stuck last week. Fun stuff. Um, but I did write uh, 2,010 words in the Time Stopper, which is something. That book is now at 47,531 words, which is a lot further than I expected it to go, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then I just finished doing some paranormal research, even though I should have been doing Lost City of Z research, but I never claimed to stay on task. 
Um, but I wrote 1,094 words there, which brings my total for the day up to 3,104, so I've met my goal. Um, if I do any editing on Man of Darkness, it'll be later on. I just cannot bring myself to do that right now. Like I said, I'm just making a Day 13 Camp Nano video public, and then I'm going to take a nap. So, we're going to go from there. Um, I'm planning on only going for like 45 minutes to an hour. Um, but my eyes hurt, and my knuckles are killing me, and that's a nap is just what I need right now. <laughs> um, today, the pain has been so bad that I caved and took my Tylenol whatever ibuprofen that's stronger yeah it's a higher strength because it's made for arthritis um and i only take that when it's super super bad because i don't want to you know ruin my liver with it um and normally it helps at least a little bit but it felt like it did absolutely nothing today which surprise surprise um my body is apparently already immune to it which is super cool um, but I'm doing my best, as per usual, uh, and going from there, but, but, you know, things have been slow, <laughs> and they will continue to be slow, I think, but, um, Day 13's video is officially published, so I'm going to take a nap. When I wake up, I'm going to start downloading videos for Camp Nano Day 14, do some editing there, um, start uploading that so on and so forth. Um, I would like to do as much catching up as I can today and tomorrow. Um, so that is the plan and whatever. But um, when I wake up, if I do any more writing or editing or note taking or whatever, um, I will update you guys at some point. I don't know when I'm going to take a nap again today uh, after this one. I don't know. <laughs> but Whenever, uh, if I accomplish anything else after this, I will update you guys as per usual. Hey guys, so it is currently 8.23 in the morning on the 18th. Um, I have done no writing yet today. I mean, except for like a sentence or two in the Time Stopper. Um, I went to sleep sometime before midnight and then I just laid on the floor in front of the heater for like six hours. Um, I didn't actually get up off the floor until at least 6 in the morning. Um, I was in pain. I was cold. I didn't want to move. Um, even now, my knuckles are still super, super stiff and my wrist is still sore. Um, I do have my brace back here. I'm just not wearing it at the moment because I'm not typing. Um, and because it's been in a brace all morning so far, uh, including while I was asleep, I had my nighttime brace on. Um, but yeah, I haven't done anything yet today, um, which really sucks, but, you know, I'm going to do my best, I guess. Um, my sister is apparently coming over today and spending the night, so um, presumably I won't accomplish anything today. <laughs> uh, but, you know, we'll see. Um, wasn't expecting her to be over here, but there we go. Um, I'm going to do my best to meet my writing goal. I haven't failed to meet a writing goal since January um, because since the end, since the beginning of February, I have been specifically meeting the same word count every day for all of February. And so far for March, I've been doing a slightly higher count every single day so far all of March. And I would love to not break that. Um, I feel like as soon as I start breaking it and letting it fall again, I'm going to go back into last year and the year before where there were days where I would write like two words and that was good. And that's not what I want. I want to be back to where I used to be. Um, and I do know that there are times where I will 100% need breaks and I do take breaks in between writing. Um, I don't sit down and type for, you know, 12 hours straight. I type in between in those 12 hours. Um, but we'll see what happens. Um, I don't expect a lot of progress to be made today. Time Stopper is, uh, close to being done, I think, um, and things are going well. It's just typing hurts and I can't do it for long amounts of time, so it feels like as soon as I start, like, actually getting the ball rolling that I have to stop and take a break. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, I will 
update you guys at some point, but I don't know if I'll be working on the Time Stabber or Research for Z or Paranormal Research or what I'll be doing. Um, I need to edit Man of Darkness at some point and take more notes there, but I don't know 100% when all of that will happen or how it will happen or what. Um, I've got about maybe four hours before my sister is planning on being here, so I'm going to do what I can to work what I can into that amount of time. Um, I need to film the cover reveals for Ashes in the Light. I need to film the unboxing for Ashes in the Light. Um, I need to finish up the ebook so I can do the pre-order so that way I can actually edit and upload those videos. Um, but we'll see what happens. Um, at the moment, because my hands are still killing me, I'm just playing a game on the computer for like the next two hours because it's a free trial and that's when the trial ends. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to slowly work on stuff in between that. Um, but that's, that's the plan. I'm going to game for the next two hours or so with minimal work in between uh, and then hopefully accomplish some writing and editing uh, sometime after that. Hopefully. <laughs> But I will update you guys at some point today, um, and fingers crossed that things go relatively well. Hey guys, it is currently 12.50pm on March 20th. Um, things have been <laughs> not so great. Um, Monday I didn't do a lot. I did some notes on a potential opening to The Lost City of Z. And I wrote a little bit in the Time Stopper, at least according to my thingy here. Yeah, I wrote 213 words in the Time Stopper, and I wrote uh, 2,851 notes in regard to what the beginning of uh, Z could be, whatever the name of that book is going to be. Um, so overall on Monday, I wrote 3,064 words, which I'm actually going to write down because I didn't do that beforehand. Um, on Tuesday, I did not meet my goal. I apologize so deeply for the parakeets. They're annoying as hell. I'll be right back. So on Tuesday, I did not meet the word goal um, at all. Uh, I wrote 676 words and that was in the manuscript thing, manuscript 512 for the research on the Lost City of Z. Um, I went through here uh, through the English translation and wrote down the sentences that were important so I didn't write down any of the first part because it doesn't relate to anything about the lost city um, and I wrote all those down each sentence is its own block of text and then I'm going through and breaking those down into what they mean um, so like here one of the sentences is Thence spread out before our eyes, we saw in the open plain greater spectacles for our vision of admiration and wonder. So then I just broke it down into, from where they stand at the top of this road, they see an open plain filled with even greater sights of admiration and wonder. Um, some of the sentences are much longer, so those ones have descriptions that are definitely needed. <laughs> um, so I can keep track of it. I kind of sort of want to build a model for... Z and what is described in this manuscript, which for all intents and purposes, the manuscript may or may not be describing the lost city of Z. Um, the articles say that Fawcett was uh, using Z the article as like a secondary thing to Z. So as I understand it, after he found Z, he wanted to find the city that's described in the manuscript uh, 512. But then there are other articles that say that he was using the manuscript to further his opinion on Z and further his search for it and stuff like that. So, since every single article about Z mentions it, I'm using it as if it, that's what it's describing. But, here we are. Um, but that's also what I'm working on today, is describing, uh, breaking down the manuscript and all that. Um... Yesterday I also did the Ashes in the Light cover reveal and pre-order. Uh, that took up a little bit of time, but other than that, those 600 words that I wrote, I did that in one sitting. And after that my knuckles were sore and tense and cold for the rest of the day, and I felt like I had run a mile with my knuckles. That's kind of what it felt like. Uh, which is cool. 
um, but today, Wednesday, I have only done this manuscript thing so far, and I've written a blog post for the cover reveal of Ashes in the Light and the pre-order thing. Um, I also redid my site a little bit, and I took the Kathy Baker series and the Ashley Jones trilogy off of my main books page, and you have to physically search for them on my website to find them now, because I didn't want to remove all of the reviews that I had written down, but I also don't want it to be easily accessible unless someone goes there and searches for it. Um, I don't want them on my homepage, so there's that. Um, but with this, I've written 1,867 words the last time that I checked it, which was about an hour ago. Um, and 113 of those words is the blog post that I wrote. So, it was a very short one. It was mostly just to say, here's what the cover looks like, you can add it to Goodreads here, and, uh... Here's the pre-order link. That was basically all that one was. Um, I'm going to try and meet the word goal today. I've been taking breaks in between. I'll write for like 15 minutes and then I'll game for at least 15 minutes until my knuckles are less tense uh, because gaming doesn't hurt a lot because it's pretty much just this and my knuckles are, on my thumbs are about the only thing that I'm using and they don't really hurt that much. Sometimes um, shooting on Uncharted, this one I guess, hurts my index finger, but not a lot, because it's mostly these two and these two that absolutely kill all the time. Uh, so we're doing our best. Um, but I have, you know, stuff to write, stuff to edit, whatever. Um, I'm hoping to get back to Man of Darkness today, because I didn't do that the last time I worked on it. Appears to be Saturday. Um, so I've got stuff to do. <laughs> Um, I'm going to film a video after this for Camp Nano, because I also haven't filmed a video for Camp Nano since the 17th, which was actually a video talking about the things that I did on the 16th. Um, so I need to fill, I think, no, it was a video I filmed on the 18th about the 17th. There you go. Um, so I need to film a video about the 18th, the 19th, and today, um, before I can move back into anything else. But I'm going to do that first, then I'm going to game for a little bit, then I'm going to come back to writing. Um, hopefully I'll be able to work on the Time Stopper. There just hasn't been much character chatter there, um, so I just haven't done a lot on it. Um, but I'm hoping that changes. I still need to finish it. I have, what, 11 days left to do it? Something like that. 11 days left. Um, so, you know, doing what I can. <laughs> but... Hopefully, I will update you guys at some point on any progress I make. Who knows? Um, but regardless, I will see you at some point <laughs> about an update on any writing or editing or whatever I accomplish. Hey guys, it is currently 5.26 in the morning on the 21st. Um, I'm still working on trying to reset my sleep schedule back to my normal one. Um, I did manage to stay up until midnight. And then I had planned on sleeping for about an hour. Um, when I woke up to that alarm, my eyes hurt a lot, so I decided to keep sleeping. Uh, and now it's 5.26 in the morning, so I woke up to every alarm in between that. But the idea of actually getting up was way too much for me. <laughs> if we're lucky, I'll have it reset before April. Uh, but yesterday, I did... I gotta move something and get my planner so I can tell you what I did. I did more work on breaking down manuscript 512 and I finished working on that. Um, I couldn't tell you how many words I wrote just there. Um, oh yeah, I could. I didn't write down anything else. Um, that blog post that I wrote was 113 words and outside of that, for just the manuscript 512 thing, I wrote 3,000, um, probably about 500 words ish, 3,500, um, and then I started to do some research on another Indian tribe. Um, in 1933, a compass of faucets was found near an Indian tribe in the Matu Grasu, um, and this is confirmed by a lot of other sites, although one site says that in 1927 a nameplate and the compass was found. But the other sites say that in 1927, the nameplate was found with this Indian tribe. Um, and the compass was found in 1933 near a different Indian tribe. Um, 
I'm just going with the one that has more sources to it. But I was going to research that Indian tribe and I couldn't find anything. Um, I couldn't find a Wikipedia article, I couldn't find anything in Google Books, I couldn't find anything on the Native American sites, I couldn't find anything at all. Um, I tried for over an hour <laughs> searching different terms and scrolling through different pages and I found absolutely nothing. Um, which really sucks, but you know, whatever happens, happens I guess. Um, but I instead started research on the one of the main tribes involved. Um, they are the tribe that last saw Fawcett and was the tribe that Fawcett was last with. So they have the last confirmed sighting of him. Um, I started that, but I didn't actually write anything down because at that point I had already spent an hour searching for a different Indian tribe and by that time I was done. <laughs> I was just done. Um, but that's all I did yesterday. At least I typed. I met my goal. That is something. Um, very happy with that. Ooh, I also edited Man of Darkness. I edited chapters 5 and 6, but I haven't checked the word count yet. Um, so I'll get back to you on that later today after I open up my tablet. Um, because it's easiest to check the word count on there in comparison to my phone. But... Um, I'm going to film an April Camp Nano video for yesterday super quick, and then I'm going to take a shower. And, uh, then I'm going to come back out here and get into either writing or editing or whatever. Uh, hopefully I'll update you on Man of Darkness <laughs> before I get into writing and editing, but we'll see what happens. Uh, but that is all that I did yesterday. Uh, and then I'll see you guys at some point for today. Hey guys, it is 12.15pm, I'm out in the living room, I'll apologize in advance if any birds start being annoying, they have been all morning, so I wouldn't be surprised if they do it again now. Um, I finished researching the Indians that I started yesterday, um, and then I started working on a new tribe, which starts with an X, and I believe is pronounced Savantha, maybe, roughly, somewhere in there. Um, they're one of the tribes that, although there aren't any confirmed sightings or anything, that they saw Fawcett before he and his son and his son's friend disappeared. Um, that's the area Fawcett and his group were entering into. Um, so I'm researching them pretty deeply at the moment. I started with Wikipedia. The article was absolutely terrible. Um, and then I moved to everyculture.com. They have a lot of stuff on Native Americans and um, also Amara Indians, which I believe is what they're called in Brazil. Um, the name that they have, which again I think is Zavanta, um, was actually given to them by Portuguese uh, colonizers, but they called themselves something that means people um, instead, but they still are known as the name that starts with the X. Um, you know, <laughs> there's a lot of terrible stuff um, in their history, which I expected, but we only ever really talk about what um, the colonizers here in America did to Native Americans, and we don't really talk about what happened to the indigenous people of other places, which isn't, isn't right, <laughs> to say the least. But... I have done a lot of research here. I've written over 2,000 words of research just on these Indians, um, and all together today I've written 3,464 words, um, which pushes, pushes my count for the month over 70,000 at the moment. Um, because I took a shower, I've been tired all morning. For most people, showers wake them up. For me, they tend to make me sleepy. Um, I could literally blast my face with cold water at the end of my shower, and I'd still be tired in an hour. Uh, so, because my eyes hurt and it's hard to actually, like, focus on the words, everything's blurry. Um, and sometimes I don't know if that's because of my glasses, but they're clean. Um, or if it's just because my eyes suck. Could be that one. Or if I'm tired. So, I'm going to lay down and take a nap for hopefully an hour. Um, and then come back into more research. Um, I would like to finish this up before I move to writing or editing. 
which reminds me, I checked the editing on Man of Darkness uh, for yesterday, and that was 3,399 words. So, hooray. Um, but I would like to finish up this research on this particular tribe before I move on to writing and editing for the day, um, as in the Time Stopper, if I ever get around to it. Uh, we'll see. Um, but in between all of that, I'm currently uploading an Uncharted video for tomorrow, which I edited today. Um, I need to edit more Camp Nano videos after this is uploaded. I cannot edit and export until it's uploaded. There's not enough space on my tablet for that. Um, and I need to do some more sketches for Ashes in the Light and some more quotes for Ashes in the Light for the book merch and all that fun jazz. Um, so I'm going to work on all of that. The good news is, is I've met my written goal for the day. So even if I don't write anything in the Time Stopper, I've met my goal. Um, which is more than I can say <laughs> for the other day. So that's something. But I'm going to take a short nap, see what happens when I wake up, and hopefully I'll be able to dive right back into research without much of a gap. Um, my knuckles have been hurting all day. Yesterday, I think, um, I wrote in 15 minute sections. So I wrote for 15, game for 15. Today, 15 is too much stress on my knuckles. So I have been writing for five and gaming for five because although five is a very small recovery time, um, the five minutes typing is much less stressful on my knuckles and doesn't make them hurt quite as bad. Um, I've noticed that they start hurting really bad by minute two, uh, which isn't great, <laughs> but I have passed my goal for the day and that is something if nothing else, um, despite the pain. <laughs> so I'm going to take a nap. Hopefully I'll get back into research when I wake up. Hopefully things will go smoothly. Hopefully I'll finish research and then I'll be able to get into editing if nothing else. And then hopefully the time stopper and in between all of that, um, video editing and ashes in the light book merch. And we'll go from there. But, uh, hopefully I will update you guys at some point after I wake up. Um, as long as I don't accidentally sleep until 5 or something, I will update you, update you at least one more time before I wake up or before, uh, before my mom comes home <laughs> and I do no more talking parts of the video, but we will see what happens and hopefully I will see you guys soon. Alrighty, so although I did only sleep for about two hours, I only just got back into the Indian tribe research, um, and I just finished it. Uh, it is 4.45 p.m. and all together in this particular research I wrote 3,101 words which brings my total for the day to 4,009 re words in research only. Um, so there's that. Uh, I have a few more Indian tribes that I need to research. We'll see how that goes but at the moment I'm going to move on to the time stopper and see if I can't accomplish anything there. Um, hopefully things will go well. We'll see. Um, but either way, I would also like to get into at least two chapters of Man of Darkness tonight before midnight. Um, so if I get to a point where this is dragging, I'm just going to switch over to Man of Darkness and go from there. Um, in about 15 minutes, I'm going to break and do bird chores, um, and then come back to writing or editing, depending on how things go. And then at some point tonight, I'm going to work on, uh, Ashes in the Light merch sketches. Again, I have met the writing goal, so I think I'm only going to work on Time Stopper for these 15 minutes and then maybe come to Man of Darkness, get through the editing, and then move back and forth between writing and merch for the rest of the night. Uh, but we will see, and I will give you guys an update at some point. Hey guys, it is 6.19 in the morning on the 22nd, but I'm just going to run through stuff from yesterday. Um, I edited chapters 7 and 8 on Man of Darkness, which was 3,772 words. Um, I did a little bit of work on the Time Stopper, not a lot, um, 303 words between, um, things just not being very quick. Um, and then I also got to a point last night where I don't know if it was my knuckles that hurt so bad, or my elbow, or my shoulder, but whatever it was, one of my joints hurt so bad that my entire arm just felt like dead weight. Um, and I eventually gave up around 10 o'clock and went to sleep. Um, and I've only been up for about an hour now, and I just got off the floor about 20 minutes ago to make coffee and let one of the dogs outside. So, here we are. Um, it's a bit slow. <laughs> 
think I updated you on all of the Indian notes, I think. But if I didn't, I finished all of the ones that I started yesterday, which was the Zavanta, Zavanta, something. And then the Indian tribe that starts with a K. Um, although I think I'm going to go back into that today and see if they are on that everyculture.com thing. And if they are, I'm going to take notes from there. And the notes from there are the ones I'm going to write down on the note cards. Um, the Wikipedia article on them was not as bad as the one on the other Indians, but... I would still like other notes for them and I didn't do that yesterday. Um, so I think I'm going to start there today for the 22nd um, and see what happens. We might go shopping today. It has been a while since we've actually been able to venture much further than like town <laughs> uh, because of the roads and because of the snow and then the water and then the flooding and then the ice and it's just been an adventure. Um, and I might actually attend. So I'm going to do my best to meet my writing goal before, um, and then I will do my best to also do some Ashes and Light sketches, because of my arm I didn't get to that yesterday, and then I will save Man of Darkness editing for while we are shopping, because I can do that one while we walk around without much stress, because it's pretty much just this, and it doesn't affect this hand much, so it's less than typing. It, I don't have to hold my wrist in a weird position, which actually this isn't too bad if I keep it right here just because of the way that I did the brace today. But we'll see what happens. Um, I'm going to take a few here to figure out what the hell I want to start on. If I want to start with the Indian tribe that starts with a K, or if I want to research a different Indian tribe or what, um, we'll see. I need to film an April Camp Nano video real quick, and then I'll get into whatever I decide here. Um, I'll most likely play a video game in between to keep things as balanced as I possibly can. Um, I did notice that my arms started hurting after I stopped doing that, as in after I stopped specifically taking a break from sitting here and writing. Um, so I think it does have to revolve around not taking the breaks every five to ten minutes, which really sucks and I really hate it, but make do with what you have to do, I guess. Um, but that's all I have. And I'm going to get into the April Camp Nano video and then writing and then I will update you guys at some point later on on the 22nd. <laughs>